So today, I want to be teaching you about a program called Steel Miner. It basically makes a staircase to whatever level you want. You can make it go all the way down to Y equals 12, all the way down to bedrock level, or just like 10 blocks deep. So please like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So I'm just going to show you what the program is going to look like. This is how the tortoise starts off. It's a flat dirt field and the tortoise is on top of it. So the turtle breaks the block below it. Then it goes forward. It breaks two blocks down and goes into that hole. Then it breaks the block forward and also below it. Then it breaks the block above it and goes back to the surface. And then it keeps on doing this and doing this like a cycle. So it'll make a staircase all the way down to Y equals 11 and it'll come up to the surface every single time. But let's think that there's sand or gravel or anvils, which probably won't happen, but let's say there's falling objects in front of the turtle's way. Well then, the turtle would have to break the sand three times in a row to get past it. And this is a picture of the turtle halfway done. This is a bit tedious because you're not going to be able to reach the turtle. So there's a little function to stop the turtle from running out halfway because you're going to have to build up blocks and that's a bit tedious. So we're going to get into the hail program. It's a program that you do like every single time but you're going to use the hail program over and over again so it's like a function so that whenever you use hail it automatically does this. So let's say there's a function that walks forward two times. Instead of having to write walk forward two times, you just have to write a function hail and a walk forward two times with just function hail. So this is way more helpful because look at how many lines there are in hail. So you don't have to type all that. You can just type function hail, function hail, and function hail, and do the same thing over and over again. So dig until clear. Keep digging until there are no more blocks used when sand or gravel can fall into the path. So the function below it, dig until clear, is just a function to make sure there's no sand or gravel getting into the way of the turtle so that it'll like stop the turtle from moving or like break the turtle. So continue you breaking the sand and gravel. Function dig until clear. Wall turtle.detect do. If not turtle.dig, then return false. And end return true. End. So it will dig until the object in front of it clears. So after it broke it, if there is no item, that will just keep on going. But if there is a block in front of it after it broke block in front of it, then it will break the block again. So if sand falls in again, then it'll break it, sand falls, break. So this looks like the exact same program, but look carefully. It says on line 232, wall turtle.detect up do. Before it said wall turtle.detect. So this is when the turtle is digging up, and before it was when the turtle was digging forward. So this is the end of hail. Let's get into the actual program. So this is a program called Steel Miner, which digs staircase to whatever level you want. So the Steel Miner program by All Suigo mines a steel pattern. Always download API Hail. So this loads the program called Hail, and it just does what we wrote before. Local cleararchs, target depth, column depth, result, error message. Cleararchs equals dot 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 but target depth equals two number clear arcs one. So this is just making sure that it knows how many blocks to dig down. So if clear arcs, which is basically what number you put into how many blocks to dig down, is dot dot dot, which means it doesn't know what the number is. Or target depth equals two number clear arcs one. So clear arcs one is what number you put into. And if two number clear arcs one equals target depth, then that means you didn't put anything into clear arcs one because the target depth is at first zero, which means that you didn't put a number and it'll send an error message. Display usage info. If total.depth equals nil or clearogs one equals question mark, then print usage steel minor depth return n. So this is like what I said last time. If target depth, if we don't know what it is or zero or clearogs one equals something we don't know, then it'll print usage steel minor depth. So it needs a depth return and it'll end. So total.dig down and it'll add two column depth. 
So what you do? Move forward, heel dot dig until clear, toe dot forward. So there was a program dig until clear and heel. So it would dig until the block in front of it disappears, and then it move forward. Mine while descending for i equals one column depth two. Check for bedrock. Result error message equals toe dot dig down. If error message unbreakable block detected, then print hit bedrock. Done. Return. So this is when it checks for bedrock. So there will be error message that the turtle sends automatically. So if the error message is unbreakable block detected, then it'll say hit bedrock. Done, and the program will be over. So if it doesn't hit bedrock or if it's else, turtle dot down and end. So just dig down and it'll be over. Check if done. Print current depth, column depth. If column depth is greater than or equal to target depth, then A print done. Return n. So it's basically if how many blocks dig down is more or equal to the target depth, which is whatever number you put in, then it'll end because that is how many blocks you wanted it to dig down. Move forward. Hill dot dig until clear. Total dot forward. Total dot dig down. So this is when it's going to move forward. It will dig until the block in front of it disappears, because sand or gravel can continue falling. Then it will do total dot forward, and then it will dig down like regular. Check if there's enough fuel to go up and back down again. What total dot depth fuel level column depth times two do? Try to burn fuel items in the inventory for slot one to sixteen. Do total dot select slot total dot refuel end. This is when it checks if it has enough fuel to go up and back down again, because you don't want it to. Stop midway. So while total dot get fuel level less than column depth times two do. So if the actual fuel level in the total is less than column depth times two, it'll try to burn the fuel items in the inventory. So if it has coal, it'll try to burn the coal. So for slot one to sixteen do total dot slot slot total dot refuel. End. If total dot get fuel level less than column depth times two, then print please load more fuel or start sleep ten. And end. So after it refilled some of the items, if it still does not have enough fuel, then it will say please load more fuel, and it will sleep for ten seconds. Because always that sleep ten is ten seconds. But if it doesn't have more fuel in ten seconds, then it will just say the same message again, and it will end. This is when it checks for a full inventory. While hill dot select empty slot equals false. Do please unload the inventory. O star sleep ten n. So this is when it checks for a full inventory. So if there are no empty slots, then it will say please unload the inventory, and it will sleep for ten seconds. And if you didn't unload the fuel in ten seconds, then it will say the same message again. So this is when it mines while it's going up. So for i equals one, column depth. Do hill dot dig until clear total dot up end. So dig the block above it until it clears. It goes up and just ends. This is when it adds two column depths. No matter how you look at it, it's mathematically not correct. But this is just when it adds two column depths to account for how many blocks it's dug down. So we're done with the steel miner program. Woohoo! Look at you, you analogies. I'm starting at y equals 19, and I'm making the totals dig 12 blocks. So there will be three totals all moving at once. Whoever gives me the most stuff will get a diamond hoe. Yay! And that's basically it. So let's see how much stuff the total can get me. So let's start the total. So when you start the total, you have to type steel miner, and then how many blocks you want it to dig down to 12 for now. Okay, steel miner 12. Steel miner twelve, and also all these totals have max fuel level, so it's gonna be fine. So wow, they didn't quite fast actually. Hopefully they find something because it's going to be super boring if they don't find anything. But let's just start. Cobblestone and to say anything stone-like will be zero points. Iron will be four points, I guess. Redstone will be one point. Gold will be five points. Lapis will be one point. Diamonds will be twenty points. 
emeralds will be 18 points. Let's find out. So the total to the white, let's see what it brought me. It had to bring me something. Okay, so it brought me 60 cobblestone, 13 andesite, 15 granite, and one iron ore. So this total, I'm going to count the points later, but let's look at this total. What's it got me? Okay, I accidentally stacked these up, but these give zero points anyway, so it doesn't matter. So the last total to the left, it must have found some redstone. That's a lot of points. So it had 18 redstone. No way. I mean, 13 redstone, 13 redstone. And then all the other cobblestone, duh, it doesn't really matter anymore, so, because they give zero points anyway. So the only ones that have competition is this one that gave me 13 redstone, and this one which gave me one iron. So iron is four points, and redstone is one point, so this one, 13 points, congrats. This one, zero points, shame on you. And this one, four points, you need to get better, okay? So this one is going to get the diamond hoe. Okay, so we're going to equip the diamond hoe onto the winter solar sky. So, you need to be in Lua, so turtle dot equip right. And now, you have the diamond pickaxe and the diamond hoe. This one's special. And now all the other turtles that were in the competition, they have a horrible fate coming for them, okay? So, this one. You know what I'm going to do with these three losing turtles? You know what I'm going to do? You open your inventory, you press survival inventory, and you delete them. Delete them from their existence. Yes. And also all the items they brought me, all the items, we gotta throw them away, okay? Throw, throw, throw. We don't need you. We don't need cobblestone. We don't need andesite. We don't need dirt, okay? So throw everything away. But we have 13 redstone. So this one is the remaining solar sky. Yes, and it's a diamond hoe. So the steel miner program, it won't give you that good resources, like, because even if there's iron right next to it, it won't mine it. But it will help you super well to get you down to Y equals 12 quickly. So after you just do the steel miner program, then all you have to do is go down and start strip mining or even poke holing. So you can get diamonds like that quick as um, 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 something quick. So you get diamonds quick. That's a good thing, right? So this program, it isn't useful by itself, but it can be really useful. So I hope you enjoyed my video and bye!